Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, Sarah Surrett here with Get Positive, and today we're going to chat about cats. If you are looking and considering to bring home a new pet into your house, a cat may be the perfect pet for you. Today, I'm just gonna give, go over some pros and cons of owning a cat as a pet. And then in another video, oh, you can see my kitties make their appearances behind us. In another video, I will go over some particular breeds that you might consider. All right, so cats are wonderful. I love cats. I love cats and dogs. Cats are great because they're super cuddly, they're fun, they're smart, they're so enjoyable, and they are fun to train as well. Uh, so cats, the thing is, is you need to commit if you're gonna get a cat because they live anywhere from 13 to 17 years. My first two cats I brought home, right at the end of college, they lived to be 16 and a half, and they were the best cats ever. So cats are, uh, they have a long lifespan, so I wanna make sure that you understand that you're gonna have them for a long time, especially if you get a kitten. Now there's no reason that you can't um, adopt or bring home an older cat as well. There are plenty of those that are looking for homes. The other things with cats are that they are gonna provide that love and affection that you may be looking for. If you are retired and you find yourself with a lot of extra time at home, a cat may be that perfect companion for you. The other thing is that cats, um, they are very smart but they're not gonna need formal training like a dog. So they're gonna be a little bit more affordable. You're not gonna need as many things that you would if you brought home a new dog in the house. The cats do need care. They're gonna need a litter box and you're gonna have to clean that litter box out a couple times a day in order to keep them clean and wanting to use that litter box. Otherwise, they will find other places to relieve themselves. And this is specifically if you have indoor cats. My cats are outdoors, so I don't need to clean the litter box quite as often, but they do have a rule of thumb, two litter boxes for every cat that you own. The other thing is sometimes cats, as a matter of fact, right before I jumped on to do this video, my cat threw up. My child ran out the door and said, mom, shadow is throwing up. So cats do throw up a lot. They have hairballs. And if that's not something that you're keen on cleaning up, then maybe a kitty cat is not for you. So the other thing about cats is that they are that wonderful option for companionship if you're sitting down to watch your favorite TV show and you want a cuddly, cozy kitty next to you. Not all of them end up being lap cats, but um, depending on how friendly they are and how much socialization you give them, they can be wonderful companions to you. Cats are also known to reduce stress. So who doesn't want a reduction in daily stress? Cats are also known to manage and maintain that rodent population. Whether they are outdoor or indoor, they can really help keep any mice problems under control. And I will tell you that my outdoor cats bring plenty of critters to my front door. It's kind of gross actually. The other thing about cats is that, um, as I mentioned, they're not gonna be as costly as dogs, but they are readily available. You can find a cat really anywhere at your local rescue. You can find local breeders. So they're not gonna be hard to find. Sometimes it can be harder to find a kitten because there is kitten season. So it depends what kind of cat, what age cat you're looking for. Um, as I mentioned earlier, again, if you are retired and find yourself with lots of extra time, a cat's gonna be a perfect pet for you. There are cats that are long haired. There are cats that are short haired. There are cats that are hairless. So you get to, to decide what kind of cat do you want in your home. So join me for the next video where we go over some different types of cat breeds, including rescues, so you can decide specifically what kind of cat might be best for you. I hope you found this helpful and I can't wait to hear what you decide. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.